mainstream actors like Pedro Pascal and Kim Kardashian and Jim and Jack Black have like have been in print in almost every TV show and movie up to this point. You know, like we keep seeing them everywhere. You know, like the industry is big enough, it's right enough, there's a lot more actors and it's not just because of one character that defined their life and it's not just their voice acting or live action acting, it's just you know, like there are more people out there other than these three. Not to say I don't like them, it's just that we seem very, very too much. And the same goes with the whole horror, you know, movie stuff. Because we are starting to see more actors that we've seen in previous horror films because the industry doesn't really have enough balls to, you know, actually put on their big boy pants or their big girl skirt and just actually get in there and... You know, do their best, knowing that the monster is fake and knowing that the blood is just either caramel or mush bananas or something, or food coloring. It's just that you kind of have to coax newcomers in at times. It's just that you know that the stunt people who do the monsters are friendly people and you would not let anyone hurt you, you know, like they would, you know protect you if they go, if you guys go out in the town after shooting a scene. And this is what this whole episode of the Actors and Actresses Count is about. You know, like, we have more actors out there. We have a whole playing field of actors. Like, not just your known, but unknown actors. Like, really open the pl- playing field for those people. Not just let them be cast aside like they're trash. And let me just give you a quick update on this channel. It's about quick facts about actors. To the guy who wrote about me, Kenna Grace, I like the actress, but it's for quick, you know, like people who don't really have time to read Wikipedia or go on other social media to know more about her. It's me trying to make sure that. If you are planning to be in the industry, or if you don't want to be in the industry, or are just interested in facts about your favorite actors and actresses, it's just, you have to come to me. And, of course, I got bashed because of a video I was talking about, you know, saying happy birthday to a favorite voice actress of mine, Lisa Wimmel. And some guy called me a creep and stuff like that. She's like, I'm hoping to meet some of these people someday. I'm stuck here in... You know, like, in poor town, with no money to get a photo. And I don't go to conventions either. That's for dorks. And I've always been qualified enough as a loser at times. Because really, I'm not going to be forced into a little pretend battle with a guy who lives in his mommy's or father's basement still. And, you know, like, I don't do that. You know, I can't stand in crowds and I can't really, you know, do this certain thing. Anyway, just let you know.